What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Majora's Mask. The last part, we uh, did a couple of side quests, made it all the way to the Great Bay Temple. In this part, we're gonna we're gonna fin we're gonna do what we can in the Great Bay Temple. So we're gonna light these torches. You can use the fire arrows, but I prefer to just be lazy and conserve magic. And it's just for a stray fairy, which uh. Yeah, the Great Bay Temple, I will try to guide you through it as much as I can, but, uh, like I said in the last part, if you hated the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time, you're gonna hate this temple even more. The one, contrary to popular belief, I don't think is that hard. It's just easy to get lost in with that temple, if you know what I mean. This is not only easy to get lost in, but it's just, like, the it's, there's also the actual puzzles involved, but, uh... Yeah, so uh, we're gonna um, transform the Zora Link in this. Uh, well, let's just well, let's take out the straight fairy mask bomb. I'll guide you through this temple as much as I can, but uh, even I can get lost in this in repeated playthroughs. Now, there's actually also a story I want to tell about the player's guide with this game, but like. Um, we want, we're gonna wait a little bit to do that. I wanna wait till it's actually appropriate. We're in the appropriate setting. We're gonna actually, uh, these elevators basically have common black clothes. There's basically settings, there's basically switches that control various settings and all that. Not settings that control these elevators. Alright. Let's just do the safe. Let's just play it safe. Except we're not doing it right. I love how I can't even kill a simple big sculpture properly. We're gonna, that's going to set it up for the rest of the temple. And if we kill all those, we get a stray fairy. We already three fairies. We're gonna get the straight fairies. This might be a hot take, but I'll say it anyway. Of the four temples, I actually think this is the easiest of them to get all the straight fairies in. Even easier than Woodfall Temple. Granted, it's a pain in the ass to actually navigate this temple, but if you know your way through it, if you know if you know if you know your way around this temple, let's just say, um, not falling in the water like that. But if you know your way around this temple, it's not that bad to get all the stray fairies in. And we got we took damage, so let's kill this other one. So now we make it this time, and, uh, if we, uh, go over here... Hmm, I get it. That huge water wheel is powering this thing. But yeah, Tattle, you definitely do get it. Now, this one can be hard to find at first, but, uh, you kind of want to get close up to the water. Not actually in the water, but, uh... And that gets us a straight fairy. We just get another straight fairy. So we already get, we're already on a fifth. We're already approaching our fifth straight fairy. Now we got our fifth. So now we're done with all of them in this room. So yeah, basically the main thing about this temple, the main design about this temple, is that you kind of want to go where the current is taking you. And there are switches that basically control the current and all that. And so we're gonna go over here and, uh... It's not actually the dungeon item. We get the dungeon map, so, uh, yeah. 
I think there's another straight berry in one of these uh, pots. Yeah, there. We already have nearly half the stray fairies, but I'm just gonna say we're nowhere close to halfway done with this temple. I just find it easy to get all the stray fairies here. They just lay them out. They put them in, maybe they put them in some up, but there, it's like some of the stray fairies lost. They're not really as hard as say like um, what Snowhead Temple or eventually what the eventually we're about to do um, Stone Tower Temple. They do put them in maybe kind of spots you think to look is what I'm saying. Like, right here, but, uh... I kinda wanna, uh, get rid of that enemy. I wanted... I, I know... Thing is, I know there's a straight fairy in there. Yeah. I've played this game before. Let's just say... It's just an easy way to get rid of those with the hook shot and just Zora mask them afterwards. We got magic. And in there is gonna be a small key. Yeah, so now that we don't have the Deku, now that we don't have the Deku bottles to worry about, let's just uh, get rid of this asshole over here. Or take damage. Nothing special. We get the compass, so uh yeah, it's all we have to do in this room, so we I guess we can go back and uh take go where the current takes us. So this is the other way. Actually, is this the same way we got him before? Yeah, it is. Weird. I thought like, oh yeah, it's the bottom floor we have to take, so uh... Actually, come to think of it, it's better we got in this room because I think there might have been a stray fairy I forgot to get, so uh... Yeah, it's a good thing, that, it's a good thing to do that here than just go all the way back later. But I think uh... Actually, I might be thinking of something from- Oh, yeah, I already got that straight fair. What are you talking about? Yeah, there's, uh... Wow, we just went- We just went into some rare glitch. I think you can... I think that happens in this temple. So we can't do anything about these Octa Rocks yet. I'm just gonna take intentional damage. We have plenty of hearts. Not Z target that asshole. And so uh, this is where the small key goes. This is actually where we get the dungeon item. This gets us magic, and this also there's another there's a separate one that gets us arrows. Yeah, it's definitely good to stock up. We can also get bombs, I think, pretty easily, because there is going to be a mini-boss coming up, which, uh, is a recycled mini-boss from A Link to the Past. But if we look up... So yeah, if we, we can actually just use bombs and just spam spin attacks. That's a very easy way to get rid of these assholes. Or to spam spin attacks in general. You, I would focus mainly on uh, getting out these uh, little bubbles before... You don't have to do them all, it just makes it easier.
Yeah, you know, basically just shoot an arrow at the eye. Like you do in a link, I think it's like you do in a Link to the Past. I'm not too familiar with the Link of the Past because I don't know if this is a hot take. It's really not one of my favorite games because of personal preference. I just suck at 2D Zelda. 2D Zelda was mostly before my time. I was born in the late 90s, so um, yeah. So like the the when I was born, when I was growing up, like the newest up games were like Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, those types of games. So those were kind of the games I was more used to. I did play the Link to the Past later when it came out on the Wii Virtual Console, so I'll give it that. Not that I think Link to the Past is a bad game. I don't really think there's a single bad Zelda game, aside maybe Skyward Sword. Yeah, a lot of it's just like picking out these, uh, Deku, these little bubbles so it's easier to hit that, uh, boss. I'm actually gonna equip the fire arrows because I think they do more damage. There's also a second phase of this battle. Yeah. That's all of them, so we just need to, uh, we kind of need to target him. Yeah, fire arrows definitely do more damage. And he's dead. Believe it or not, there are not one but two mini bosses in this temple. But if we actually go here, we get none other than we get the ice arrows. We can do this temple in segments. There's uh the first, there's what I call the first segment, which I'll uh do right away. And uh, once we get past the um, once we get the boss key, I can say that kind of the halfway point in this temple. Let's just, uh, get, let's just get the Zora mask. We do need to freeze that Octorok so we can, um, get up to that platform. Not take damage. Here we go. Yeah. Now let's uh, push that block, and this also changes the current. So yeah, it allows us to explore more of Great Bay Temple, so I'll leave it off of this part of Majora's Mask. So, uh, next time on Majora's Mask, we're going to do another than... We're going to explore as we're going to do more Great Bay Temples. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks. Bye.